Dear Editor-in-Chief, I know it's been a long time since I last wrote to you, but when you hear what I've been through to get where I am, you'll understand. It all started on the MS Epimeo, the cruise ship that was taking me to Shanghai. Magnificent cruise. Don't you think, Snowy? No, there's no way you can be hungry again. Stop it! Catch it! Stop what? Catch what? Are you all right, sir? The kiosk papyrus is blowing away! I'll catch it for you. Uh -huh. Run, Snowy! If we lose sight of it, we'll never get it! Hey! Watch out! Pardon me! Better slow down, kiddo! Ah, oh, come on, pal! I just mopped that! Turn, turn, yes! No! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Get out from there! You're gonna fall and break your neck! You hear me? Get down from there, I said! All right! Where is it? Where is it? There! Oh, no! Not again! Next time you finish mopping, pal! Where is it? There you are. Careful, sir. Excuse me, coming through. Ha! Huh. Jumping around like that. Hey, sorry. Goodness gracious! Ooh, get out of here, scallywag! It's heading straight for the water! It went into that tube! <laughs> Hello? Has anyone seen that? I haven't seen it. There it is. Let's go, Snowy. We've got it now. Why is that boy running? Stop it! I think he stole the papyrus. Grab the, the boy papyrus. with the twist! Don't oh, let him get away! That boy's a scallywag! Stop this is Stop the pirate! Get away! Stop it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Uh, stop right there! Thief! Yeah. Don't you move! What? Stop! Stop it! He's going into the water! Oh, a lost boy! And so pale! You must be hungry! Let us buy you something to eat. Stop it! Let me go! Oh! You won't escape, thief! But I'm not a thief! I'm Tintin! I'm a reporter! Tintin? Oh, now that you mention it, I think I read something about you in the papers. I'm... Uh, sorry? You better be. That document seemed very important to the poor. Hello? It's disappeared. Uh, it snuck up to the top deck, followed by a little pooch. They were looking for some food. Oh, Snowy. How stubborn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm afraid that deck is restricted. Some cinema people booked it. 
It's just for them. That glutton dog. I have to stop him. Poor gentleman. Well, I guess I owe you, sir. Come with me. Thank you. Oh, sometimes Snowy is like a stomach on legs, you know. But don't tell anyone that I let you win. Where could they have gone? Sir, did you see a little Prepare dog? Prepare to die, Spiegel the evil weasel. <gasps> Who are you? Now I must start the scene from the top again. But you could have hurt me. You certainly deserve it for interrupting my scene. Arabian Nights, directed by Mel G. Ford. This cruise ship is named after Mount Epimeo on the little island of Ischia in Italy. Hello, are you all right? Good morning, sir. Um, may I help you, sir? It looks like you could use the help a lot more than me. Uh, if that's your wish, sir, I'd be happy to let you help me, sir. Have you perchance seen a white dog with a tall man in a top hat? I have, sir. The man bumped into me, uh, made me lose my step, and then uh, I found myself in this peculiar position, sir. He apologized, called me madam, and asked me for the way to the kitchen, sir. Then he went that way, sir, uh, saying, you'll eat very soon, young man. The young man looked quite pleased, sir. I mean, the dog, sir. All right, let me think. How can we get your head out from... If I may, sir, that might not be the kind of help I'm in urgent need of right now, sir. Would you be so kind as to order me to give you these glasses, sir? Yes, I can do that. And then be extremely careful not to lose the ring that lies at the bottom of one of the glasses, sir? Um, yes, I can do that too. And then order me to let you give them to the gentleman who gave me the ring and ordered the glasses, sir? Uh, close to the other stairs, sir? Yes, I can do all of that. Glad to be of service, sir. Uh, please, be quick. Uh, cinema people have a very short fuse, and I wouldn't like them to get me fired. Oh. You just saved my life, young man. And now... On with my life's plot point. <sighs> my dear Matilda. Oh, breakfast. Mm. <laughs> my dear Matilda. There's something I've been meaning to tell oh, you for a long... My dearest Marvin, at last. There's a moment mm. in your life that your heart, uh, my heart, our hearts... Uh, as we grow older... Certain things 
that are unhealthy for our hearts. My dearest Marvin, it was about time one of us said it. Oh, oh, my dear Matilda, so, so you feel the same way. I. Uh... We're growing older. And this kind of breakfast is not healthy for the heart. Enough! <gasps> Thank you very much, my dearest Marvin. You're welcome. My dear Matilda. Be careful! I'm waxing the floor, and it's slippery. Oh, thanks. It looks like a really tough chore. Are you kidding me? Waxing the floor is the best chore ever! And the lower you keep your head, the less likely people will come and whack it! That's my one and only motto. Sir, may I presume that you delivered the glasses, sir? Indeed. Now, don't you think it's time we did something about your head? Uh, yes, sir. If that's your wish, uh, sir. So, I'm going to push and... Oh, no, sir. If I may suggest, you might not want to do that. I already tried, but the skin on my neck stuck to the metal bar and wouldn't budge. Maybe I could try to get something that makes the bar slippery enough. As you wish, sir. I am here to serve you, sir. Be careful. Remember, the deck is slippery because of the wax. By the way, there's something I'd like to ask you. Can I borrow your can of wax for a friend? It'll just take a minute. Be generous to people who ask you for wax. That's my one and only motto. Look. I got some floor wax. It should help your head slip out of the bars. Um, if that pleases you, sir, I'd be glad to let you do it, sir. Yes. All right. The bars are slippery, so... Time to push! <laughs> 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 It worked! <sighs> yes, yes, sir. I'm glad that makes you happy, sir. Uh, uh, and now, uh, if you'll allow me, sir, I've already devoted a great deal of time to your service, sir. So, have a good morning, sir. You there. Stop. Hey. You know him? You're the nitwit who knocked all the scripts on the ground. I'm afraid that's no reason to call me names, sir. You're afraid? Come here, and I'll give you a reason to be afraid. My fists are eager to meet you. Well, 
then I'm afraid I must decline your invitation. Let the Nidwit go, brother. We don't want to disturb the boss while he's reading a new script. Excuse me, sir. Is my dog... Snowy? I've been looking all over the ship for you. Have you no shame? Get out of there right now. I'm sorry, sir. His gluttony has no limit. Did my dog bother you? A dog? I don't know of any dog, young man. What are you doing there? Can't you see? I'm rowing! Oh, but your boat isn't in the water. That's right. You're very observant, young man. Can you even tell a young man and a dog apart? Of course I can, young man. Dogs are all bark and no bite, whereas young men are no bark and all bite. I tried to retrieve your papyrus, but it blew overboard. My papyrus in the sea? Impossible. I still have it with me. What you saw flying away was the prospectus of the travel agency. Odd. I distinctly heard you yelling the word papyrus. Don't you think that maybe you're a little... Oh, no. See what you have done? Me? You and your innumerable questions have made me forget why I was rowing. A shame, indeed. <clears throat> All the same, questions are signs of an adventurous spirit. So, I'll tell you a secret. A secret about something extremely secretive of the utmost secrecy. So, this red mark on the map here is... The exact location of the Tomb of Kiosk! Oh, what is that curious symbol? I believe it must be the Royal Cipher of Kiosk. And I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal his tomb to the world! What do these hieroglyphs mean? They speak of the curse of Kiosk that afflicts anyone who tries to find his tomb. Actually, all the archaeologists who've endeavored to find it have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. If you're interested, why not join me in Port Said's old town tomorrow and we'll look for the tomb together? Certainly. We would like that. Right, Snowy? Until tomorrow then, dear friend. Goodbye, little man. Oh, oh. Uh, I beg your pardon, Captain. What an odd character. Hey, huh? clumsy oaf! Can't you look where you are going? Uh, I'm terribly sorry I mistook you for a vigilant. Imbecile! Please, sir, control yourself. The gentleman didn't bump into you deliberately. You impudent little whippersnapper! How dare you meddle? Hey, you two! What do I pay you for? Hmm? Uh, I'm afraid you're gonna be really sorry! Gentlemen, there's no need for this! Uh, someone could get hurt! Uh, 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 Whose nose? Whose nose? Who's nose again? Your nose. No, my nose! Uh, 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 I hear! Shut up! On the count of three! Uh, uh, One! Two! You bungling bunch of bunglers! You call yourself bodyguards? Let's go! And you, you don't know who you're dealing with. The day will come when you'll regret ever having crossed my path. 
Remember my name. <laughs> Funny. Didn't even say his name. <sighs> his face rings a bell, though. The next day, after a delicious breakfast, courtesy of a grateful and helpful waiter. All right, Snowy. We'll be arriving in Port Said in just a few hours. How do you want to spend time till... Mm. What? Oh. What's that? Does it smell odd? Can you find where the smell is coming from, Snowy? What's that, Snowy? This part of the carpet is wet. Except for that footprint. Someone was here just a moment ago. Can you keep looking for that funny smell, Snowy? Fine, Snowy. That looks like ash from a huge cigar. That's the odd smell. Someone who smokes was in our room. Nice work, Snowy. I'll take it from here. My reporter camera is the single most valuable item in this cabin. Which means that they didn't want to steal Snowy. Hmm. You're such a good detective, Snowy. I'm very proud of you. There's some water on the plate. Maybe they tipped the jar over, water spilled onto the carpet, and then they tread on it, which would explain the footprint. The sign is on the outside of the door, so it wasn't the room service who came in and smoked here. The drawers. I'd be appalled if someone had stolen my clothes. Still, no harm in looking. Alright, they didn't take my clothes, as anticipated. I don't remember seeing this box before. How did this get... Huh? Is your name Tintin? Tintin? That is, is your, your name, name Snowy? Snowy? Yes, that's us. What... Huh? Well, well, well. The tip was true. That's opium, sure enough. What? This must be some kind of joke. I arrest you and your dog in the name of the law. To be precise, I name you to arrest your... Where's your dog? It escaped. We must tell the crew that a four-legged criminal is on the loose. Come with us, you two-legged felon. But this makes no sense whatsoever. Sense? Justice will put some... <laughs> Who put that here? Surely the dog to stop us. The cunning crook. Let's offer a reward. You, where can we lock up this criminal? Oh, I know it. You can put him in the cellar. That way. What about his little pooch?
hostile chomp that sounds like a lot I could buy a new suit Tried to rob me. Find his dog for a substantial reward. Detectives, my husband has gone missing. He was thirsty. I looked in the bar, but... We don't have time for that, madam. A substantial reward? Substantial. Hm, that's stingy. What if I, uh, hmm. But no, it would never work. And do tell us if you see the four-legged criminal. Snowy is not a... Fuck, you two-legged trickster. Why, he's such a cute dog. <laughs> oh, why, oh, why is it so hot in here? My bones and cores are going to dry up before this lousy piano gets tuned. Maybe you could open that window behind you, sir. Oh. In the name of the fans of the great actor and the singer Randolph Albertalino, that's me. Grazie. Glad to be of service, sir. Dear Mommy. The soda? Yes. Peanuts? Yes. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Spring water? Not good. No. Ah. Hair wax? <laughs> yes, you never All know. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. Stale and not good. Ah. Huh? <laughs> Ouch. The piano lid fell and out. Besides, this is no place for passengers. And your wife is looking for you. You know what? This is no place for passengers. And your wife is looking for you. You know what?
Thanks for the keys, sailor. The one that opened the cellar is... Don't burden us with details. We're on a mission. Sir, uh, sorry, sir. And now I'm on a mission too. I will find that dog. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, come here. That coward Tom and his rat excuses. Left, right. You've got to believe me. A ghost yelled through the ventilators. But it was me. I was chasing a... Shut up, you delinquent, and mind your step. If I could prove there are no rats, so Tom could come back. Ouch! That hurts! Ah, oh, jeez. This is a job for more than one person. One towel at a time. Huh? That's my kind of strike. That's the cellar door, Thompson. Lock him in. Me? But the sailor gave you the keys, Thompson. To be precise, he gave you the cellar keys, Thompson. Look in your pockets. Not here. No. Uh-uh. No. Oh, I don't have them. They're in your pockets. Not here. No. Uh-uh. No. Oh, I don't have them. They're in your pockets. <coughs> hmm? Oh, look. The keys. They must have fallen when we fell. We were both right. As we always are. And now you, delinquent. Uh, but you must listen. Uh, In you go. Uh, now, which of these keys goes here? Another case sold, Thompson. Indeed. Genius as usual, Thompson. Now, let's wait till we arrive in Port Said and hand the criminal over to the authorities. You hear that, Snowy? We must get off of this ship. Let's start by checking all the possible ways out. Then, once we know all the possibilities, we'll choose the best option. I guess I can cast this way of escape aside. Hmm, looks like a cargo elevator. Oh dear, the fuse is missing.
crumbs. It must be blocked from the outside. I could open up that duct, sneak in, and then... Oh. But what am I saying? I don't fit in there. But you could. Oh. Oh. Crikey, it's too high. A toolbox? Let's see. Oh, a screwdriver. That's convenient. Lucky, I could jump straight onto the boat. If I find a way to open the porthole, that is. Crikey, it's too high. swim to that boat. Ugh, but I can't open it with my bare hands. Alright, so, among all my escape options, opening that porthole to jump onto the boat seems the best one. But I need more strength to open it. So how do I do it? I know. If I tie something from the porthole to the lift and send it down... Hmm, but for that I'll have to find a fuse. Let's get on with it. Up you go, old chum. Let's see what you can do. And keep a low profile. They're still looking for you, remember? to rescue me again. So I'm here, and that's the maintenance room. That's where I'll find the fuse. But I must cross the post office to get there, which is... that door. the door leading to the laundry, where the maintenance room is. I can't get through that door unless I make that sailor go away. Looks like an interphone. He seems so focused that I could probably sneak past him. I can't tell if he works at the post office or not. Maybe I can make him turn around so I can see the symbol on his uniform.
Hello, can I talk to someone at the post office? You are now. Want to talk to the mail guy? He's right here too. No, no, I just need you to go to wherever you're supposed to be working now. So, you don't even know where I work, and yet you're giving me orders? Stop joking, whoever you are, alright? Crumbs, it didn't work. You hear me? I hear him, but I'd better stay quiet now. Whatever. That's weird. The light stayed on even after I stopped pressing the button. Which must mean it stays lit if another speaker is pressing their interphone's button. We interrupt our broadcast with breaking news. We'll continue the report after our musical interlude. Don't forget to tune in tonight to listen live from Vienna to the music. Tintin and Snowy save the day. They took that picture at the official banquet the city of Chicago held in our honor after we fought Al Capone. The blonde woman is Mary Pickford, the famous actress. And the man with the monocle... Wait, that's the bad-tempered man from yesterday. I knew I had met him before. Roberto Rastapopoulos, owner of Cosmos Pictures, the largest American cinema company. Now this could be really useful. Mel G. Ford to direct Arabian Nights. Of course, that's the man I saw yesterday, sleeping on the top deck. Hmm, I think I already know how to use this. Scotch tape, what an invention. I'd better change my voice now. Attention everyone, please stay alert for an important announcement. I won't know if my plan is working till I see what's happening in the post office. Ha! Huh. He works at the laundry. And he's expecting an important announcement. I don't want to keep him waiting. All laundry room personnel, return to your workplace at once. I repeat, laundry room personnel, return to your workplace, or you'll be fired! It worked! He's gone! Now I have to be careful if I want to sneak past the other sailor. What a waste of time! There it is, the maintenance room. Why are we chasing a dog? It's ridiculous. A fuse. I'm so close now. One, two, three, and twenty. Okay, let's write it down. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And got it. Fifteen. Let's write it down. Is there anyone there? Hmm. Why doesn't it work yet? Dash, the cables are a real mess. Ha, I fixed it. Now that I've fixed the lift, I can tie one end here and the other end to the porthole. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings. it like this. After the initial scare, the fishermen kindly agreed to take us to Port Said. The trip was calm, the sea looked like a lake, and I had nothing left to do but enjoy the sun and the sea breeze. Once at the port, I soon found Professor Sarcophagus and made arrangements for our trip to the desert, unaware that the police were once again on our trail. A couple of days later, somewhere near Cairo, the professor got off his mule and instructed the guide to wait for us till dusk. However, we would never return. <laughs> 